Hi, I'm Melissa. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is using four new products from Lancome. So keep watching to see how to do this makeup look and find out about these new products. I'm starting by applying Smashbox's 24 hour photo finish shadow primer on my eyes. And for today's look, I'm going to be using Kat Von D's Mi Vida Loca palette. And I'm starting by applying Lyric all over my eyelid up to the eyebrows. And next, I'm applying a little bit of the color Skulls right under the eyebrow. Next, I'm applying the color Noble, which is a tan color, in the transition area above the crease. And I'm using the Skone blending brush from my March Ipsy bag and going in with the color Rewind, which is a pretty metallic maroon color in the crease. And this brush gives a super diffused, easy blend. I'm using a Sigma Shader Crease E47 brush along with a little Smashbox primer water with Vox, which is a dark brown in the outer corner. So now that I have some of that dark brown really in that corner, I'm going in with a Vasanti contour eyeshadow brush and some of that shadow that is not wet to blend it in. Now I'm using a Sigma smudge brush with some primer water along with the color Lyric to apply some more shadow on the eyelid focusing more on the inner half and try to just blend that in with the brown. This is a little eyeshadow duo that has a super dark brown. I'm going to use a Sigma Eyeliner E11 brush with a little primer water and I'm going to use that dark brown as an eyeliner. This is my first time using this brush and it is super precise. That just gave a subtle brown line, which I'm liking. I'm applying Clinique's High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. I'm applying Huda Beauty's Samantha Lashes. I'm using this Kiss Lash Adhesive with Aloe because it's supposed to be good for sensitive eyes, but it's really hard to get the lashes on. I usually use the House of Lashes glue the House of Lashes glue works really well, but sometimes it's hard to get off. So here are the Samantha lashes. I am so excited because Influencer sent me some goodies from Lancome to try out. And the campaign is Don't Glow It Alone. So today I'm going to be trying out this new foundation and concealer from Lancome along with a metallic lip that I'm super excited about and also a click and glow highlighting skin fluid. So this is the packaging for the foundation stick and you open it up and there's your foundation. So I'm trying the color Bisque and that's a neutral, the number 260. And this foundation does have sunscreen which is so good for your skin. This is long wearing perfection whenever you need it, lightweight comfort and all day color wear up to 24 hours. And I love products that are convenient like a stick foundation that you can use on the go. This is the Ultra Makeup Stick from Lancome. To start we're just applying the foundation with the stick. foundation definitely glided on and felt really nice. And then use a foundation brush to blend in your foundation. I feel like I got really good coverage for a thin layer of this foundation. It definitely easily covered up my redness, did a great job blending in some of my dark spots. 
I would describe the foundation as a medium coverage. And now I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more foundation where I want a little bit more coverage. And this is what the foundation looks like with a second layer of foundation in a few areas on my face. And next I'm using a Lancome's Ultra Wear Camouflage Concealer. So you can use this on dark under eye circles or blemishes. The concealer is very liquidy and a little bit goes a long way. I definitely applied more than I needed, which is nice if your product goes a long way. So I got great coverage of the under eyes, but it is wet. I'm going to use some of Bella Pierre's Banana Powder to set this concealer. I'm going to go ahead and apply my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and Brow Definer in Ebony off camera. I am back and I have applied brows and I am going to go back in with a little bit of that dark brown shadow that we used as a liner because I just want to make sure that the glue is blended in. I'm using a Sigma Smudge E21 brush along with our maroon shadow and I'm going to apply this underneath the eye. And then going in with the color Noble, which was our color we used in the transition area, blending that right underneath the maroon shadow. I'm using a little bit of the dark brown Vox shadow on the outer corner. And finally using the color Skulls, which is that iridescent white, as an inner corner highlight. I'm using my Clinique mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm using my old standby Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Medium to Dark to apply some bronzer. I'm also using Becca's Low Light Sculpting Perfector. The foundation stick is definitely convenient for touch-ups, which is nice. I'm using Pacifica's blush in Wild Rose. And now it's time to add a highlight. This is super pretty. So this is Lancome's Click and Glow Illuminator. Highlighting skin fluid. Highlighting has never been this easy. Just one click and you're ready to highlight, enhance, warm, and illuminate your face. Make sure you bring click and glow with you all the time. Life is full of surprises and you never know when you might need a touch of glow. <laughs> that is hilarious and I love it. So it looks like a pen. You open it and it has this kind of, ooh, feels really soft. It has this nice, fuzzy, super soft applicator. And at the bottom, it has a little thing there, and you just literally click it. Now, per usual, it never really comes up in one click. So let's start with something easy. Start with the top of the cheekbone area here. Oh, so when I got a full click, I definitely got more coming out, so gonna put a little bit over here and then I'm gonna put a little bit more up here on the kind of upper cheekbone area I would describe this as a beautiful golden as a beautiful light gold color so I think you can kind of blend it in with this applicator or your finger and let's put a little bit above our eyebrows here. And I can definitely see how this would be super easy to use on the go because it's just one product, you can put it wherever you want, just blend it in with your finger. Okay, so I'm going to try this on my nose. I don't always have the best of luck on my nose with liquid highlighters but this did much better. It did not like disturb the foundation on my nose. And I'm also going to apply some on the cubic's bow. And of course a ton came out. I don't want to waste it, so let's just apply more on the cheeks. 
And uh, finally, for the new lip product, this is Mirrored Nude number 9 in the Metallic Effect Lip Lacquer. And the packaging is absolutely adorable. Wow, this lip product is absolutely gorgeous. I am obsessed. This is my favorite. I love the lip product. It just looks like your lips are pearls. So this is our final makeup look. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below, let me know if you want to try any of these products or if you have ideas for upcoming videos. I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you next time. Also, I will definitely be trying out the foundation and concealer more so that I can do a product review and let you know what I think after I've used these products for a while. First impression is that the concealer definitely covers up dark circles, but I think I use too much and it is wet, so then you have to set it, which I don't usually always do. And the foundation stick, super convenient. I like that it has the sunblock, so if you're going to be on vacation or out in the sun, it would probably be good to use. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Find me on Instagram at MelissaMChi or on my blog, MelissaMChi.com. Concealer. Aww. I just spilled powder all over my makeup table. Mm -hmm.